Okay, good morning, everyone. Um, so there are 150 companies developing a surgical robot for soft tissue surgery out there. So you're probably wondering why bother with another one. My name is Anne, and I'm going to tell you why Moon Surgical is different. At Moon Surgical, we are creating an entirely new category of robotic surgery. We are enhancing existing surgical tools and techniques with new capabilities, delivering unprecedented surgical experience. With simplicity and workflow integration, our maestro system is designed to be used in broad indications and settings, including the 19 million procedures annually not supported by surgical robots. To build that, we've assembled a team of incredible industry leaders who have pioneered the success of Verb, Hansen, Oris, and Intuitive Surgical. And our time to market is short with pathways to EU and US commercialization within 18 months. But let's start with the beginning. About 40 years ago, the field of soft tissue surgery shifted to laparoscopy. This was a revolution and now represents the vast majority of surgical procedures. I'm thinking here about abdominal, thoracic, gynecologic, and urological surgeries. About 40 years ago, uh, sorry, in the early two th 2000s, surgical robots were introduced. And as of today, only a fraction of surgeries are assisted with a robot. Obviously, these platforms are currently evolving to include intelligence and enhanced capabilities. At Moon, we are on a new branch. We're developing the first collaborative robot for soft tissue surgery. And obviously, we will be leveraging AI to deliver laparoscopy 2.0 or intelligent laparoscopy. Our maestro system keeps the surgeon at the bedside in the center of the OR next to the patient. The surgeon uses their existing surgical tools and techniques. There's no need for retraining, no need for a dedicated staff, no need for a dedicated room. Our system is small, compact, very easy to use with short setup time and turnaround time, keeping ORs on schedules and procedure volume up. To use our system, the surgeon simply reaches over, grabs an instrument, moves it, and when the instrument is at the desired location, lets it go. There's no button, there's no waiting. The surgeon operates with Maestro and is equipped with an extra set of arms and hands. The surgeon doesn't instruct Maestro to do things from the corner of the room. An operating room with Maestro can do more with less. We will be alleviating some of the staff shortage issues in operating rooms across the world. A happy surgeon, an efficient throughput, and patients treated when they need it. With that approach, we're accessing the larger pie. We are aiming to convert the 93% of surgical procedures currently not assisted with a surgical robot. The 800,000 cholecystectomies done every year in the US versus only 90,000 prostatectomies. Our market size is about 10 times Da Vinci's. While we've been pretty quiet until our Series A in June of this year, we actually have significant clinical experience. We've brought 33 surgeons from the US and Europe over numerous cadaver labs to get their feedback and to refine the usage of our system. They systematically commented on how easy and natural our system is, but also on how suitable it is for their bread and butter procedures. And now the big news, we are in the clinic and have treated 27 patients over the past few months in Brussels. Those 27 procedures were done during nine sessions in six different clinical indications demonstrating the adaptability of our system to many clinical situations. Being in the clinic enables us to deploy our comprehensive sensing and to start gathering our very unique and proprietary data, which consists of three different streams that we're continuously recording and merging. First, the OR environment, thanks to our embedded depth cameras. Second, 
our arms are actually high-resolution force sensors, which enables us to capture and understand the forces, positions, and movements applied by a surgeon to a surgical instrument. Nobody else does that. We're able to truly capture the intentions of a laparoscopic surgeon. And this is thanks to the collaborative nature of our robots. And last, of course, the laparoscopy video feed, which records the execution of the procedures and provide insights on what's going on um, during that intervention. This data has been captured in our cloud infrastructure for months and is currently being turned into actionable features, which will be in our first commercial product. We have assembled an amazing team, and we only started putting it together about 18 months ago. We have a team based in France and in the US and have been able to attract the best people in the industry thanks to our very differentiated approach as well as to our massive applicability and ambition. We're a fast-paced company. We have a few milestones behind us, uh, including getting in the clinic, as I just mentioned, and many ahead of us as we're shooting for the moon. Specifically, we're expecting the first FDA clearance on our initial product by the end of this year and US and EU market approvals by the end of next year. We're supported by a group of fantastic investors and always eager to engage with new ones. Please reach out if you want to discuss. Thank you. <laughs>